The people of the show me state are stubborn and self-reliant. When times are tough, we buckle down and get to work. Missourians don't want a handout. Missourians don't want a bailout. Missourians just want an opportunity to succeed. The people of Missouri turn to all of us for strong leadership, for a clear path forward, and for hope for a brighter future. And I'm proud to say that because of our strong leadership, Missouri is once again moving forward. Now, unlike Washington, we've worked together like adults. No matter what part of our state we're from, how we make a living, or what party we belong to, unlike Washington, We've kept a laser-like focus on job creation. Unlike Washington, we've maintained our strict fiscal discipline and balanced our budget, and we've done it without raising taxes. <laughs> our economy's changing, and education can't stop at high school. Because by the next decade, nearly two-thirds of all jobs in the United States will require some kind of post-secondary education. That means more Missouri kids will need a college degree. But too many families simply can't afford the cost of a college education. So for the past three years, Missouri has tackled college affordability head-on. While universities in other states were increasing tuition by double digits, we froze tuition in 2009 and 2010 at all our public colleges and universities. Now, last year, I challenged our colleges to continue to hold down tuition. And as a result, enrollment at our public colleges has surged. Over the past three years, we've added 31,000 students. That's a new record each fall. Now, that's great news for our students, our schools, and the future of our state. Now, in another challenging budget year, our top priorities in funding for higher education must continue to be high-quality academic programs and student scholarships. So in addition to a record investment in K-12 classrooms, my budget will provide stable funding for our state college scholarships, including Bright Flight, Access Missouri, and A+. Investing in college affordability is critical for continued economic growth, but we have to balance the budget. And we all know that means we have to cut in other areas. So to balance our budget in a way that protects our scholarships and academic programs, I'm calling on our colleges and universities to continue to look for more ways to cut overhead and administrative costs and run smarter, more efficient operations. 